watched me do some time lapse already of what I've got going on just installed the lethal garage flex fuel kit it seems to be working just fine pinned it into the ECU and now I took my OEM stock uh, filter that I've had for what 16,000 miles almost 17,000 miles John does done just fine a little dirty in some areas but not too bad and now I am installing the green filter same thing like I just put on the truck in the last video not quite as thick and you probably can't see it and well there you go you can see through it so it's pretty good flow uh, I just wanted to explain what I'm doing before we kind of get into everything uh, I guess I'll introduce this piece of the puzzle as well K-Tech poured it throttle body uh, going on the car as well so there's a little quick preview of that not gonna put this on quite yet until I get ready to tune tune the car so uh, it's really nice really nice piece uh, bought it from K Tech on their website uh, definitely poured it to what I would say the max but like I said not gonna put it on quite yet until it is time to get the car tuned the sensor is on of course you don't have to have an e85 tune to have it on so i'm gonna just throw this filter in and we'll continue the timeline <laughs> yeah. so i know you're thinking stan why didn't you just put a cold air intake on? You'll understand in a little bit why I felt like there's no reason for me to buy a cold air intake. Uh, also, I want to do something different. I feel like this green filter right here is gonna be pretty good. Um, heard some good stuff about it. And honestly, a lot of people don't know this, but this stock air block box flows pretty good. Um, Cause the filter's here, so there's a lot of room here it's still isolated from the motor from the heat. It's getting direct air in. Uh, I guess you could say it's reverse flow of what a cold air intake would be. Like I can show you on my truck. If you don't understand, I'll give you a quick rundown on it. And most people already know this, so. But basically, the truck had a box here too, kind of like what the car is. Uh, but for the cold air intakes, the air is just coming in and going directly to the filter. The bo this box gives it more volume and it isolates it a little bit more. I put a green filter on here for a little bit more flow and you have your neck. The problem with this box was the box was a lot smaller. You got to imagine the box was about at least the size of this tray. So you're increasing volume here and then the tube, the intake tube was a lot smaller and it had a lot more baffling in it. So that's the biggest difference why it's kind of necessary on this particular setup. But then if I come here, this box, even though, yes, okay, let's say we put a cold air intake on this box. You're going to use the rest of this so you'll have more volume, of course. But uh, especially on the Camaros and the Mustangs and all that, there's this little elbow down here on the Camaros. The Mustangs, they kind of come straight in to their box right here. It's still getting direct cold air coming in. You can see where it's kind of joined right there. 
it's still getting direct cold air. As for my truck, it kind of was getting that when you look at them. It comes in here. So right here is where it used to come in. I'm glad it still has that. But it wasn't getting that direct air like how the car is. The car is it's coming in at velocity even on the stock setup. But nonetheless, what one thing that I'm waiting for is we're going to eliminate this. This is where the restriction is going to be because you got these little baffles here, the sound tube here. We're just going to eliminate this. And the way it works is it's basically a true elbow, just like a regular cold air intake would be for the stock box. I have a good filter in here. We're going to put the KTEC throttle body on here, run some E85, and see what the car thinks about it. I just want to do something different because majority of all of these parts that I just put on the car after the tune, after I run it for a while, will transfer over to what I have later on. And let's just say it's got something in common with the V. That's all I'm going to say. So you take it as it is. The rest of this video will probably be another day or two. Man, this V's looking crispy. The rest of this video will probably be, actually be way more in a few more days. I got to wait for Brandon to get some time to tune my car. But take a quick peek, peek at the V. If you know what the V is, you know, you already know what I got going on with this thing. Like I said, it's going to share a lot with the V at this point. But that is what we're doing for now. Basically... A semi, and this is the, hopefully I put the title of the video like this. This is going to be an affordable way to make power. E85 sensor, green filter, throw that on your car, and the stock airbox by your elbow. You don't have to get the KTEC throttle body. Uh, even with the stock throttle body, it's still got some good volume in it. I just did the KTEC because one, I want to maximize this whole setup the best I can. Two, I'm going to need it later on anyway, so might as well get it now. The KTEC throttle body, you might as well just buy that. Don't go and port your own, because like right now, I can still drive my car, even though I don't have the KTEC throttle body on. Right now, I can still drive the car um, and do as I want with it. Even with that green filter on, it's just an air filter. It's not going to throw the car off that much. Uh, but now I have the throttle body, so I can take this car to get tuned whenever I want. Two things. I don't have to wait for my factory one to get ported. And if anything were to happen to that KTEC throttle body, I still have my factory one that I can put on. That's a benefit because it was 50 more bucks to get a whole new throttle body ported by KTEC. It only makes sense. Otherwise, I'm going to have to send it out because the KTEC throttle body is 300 bucks. I have to send this one out to get ported for 250 If I would have took it off my car today, I couldn't drive it till it gets back. Now I can close the hood and drive it whenever I want to. So... That's the gist of everything, and next time, the next clip, hopefully we'll be at the dyno. I don't know if anyone's really went this route to do what I'm doing. Uh, like I said, it's really just an experiment to see how it goes and see how the car reacts to it, see how it likes it. But one thing I do want to do is I want to go over this dyno sheet with everyone. So, um, a lot of you may know what this car made before. Uh, so basically this is the baseline which was 417 this is when the car was extremely stock and then 426 horsepower 437 torque it picked up a ton of torque that was from me uh basically uh dynoing it after i put the corsa extreme cat back on with the double x pipe uh still hasn't been tuned it never it's never been tuned but it still picked up power just from the restriction loss. So we also got to keep in mind that I do have the Corsa exhaust on, even though it's never been tuned. If you're watching this video to see gains, you will see gains regardless. And since I have a baseline of what that exhaust did, the pickup we should have from all these other parts and the E85 should still be pretty much in the ballpark. I will be honest, I already know it's going to pick up more power than what a stock car with the stock exhaust would have. Uh, so basically, essentially, this same car without this exhaust, but with the rest of the parts, this car is still going to make more power only because it has a better flow of exhaust. But nonetheless, the gain should be almost the same. Like I said, it will be a little bit of a, a higher you know, amount since it has that exhaust. But like I said, we're looking at gains. Don't look at the numbers. Don't say, oh, mine only made 450, your made 475. Not to say I will make 475.
but just look at the gains look how much your jump is compared to my jump if you use this or just you know look at my jump compared to somebody else's jump like i said i don't know if anyone's ever done this uh, i don't really watch really any camaro channels except for lethal garage and a couple other people uh rp production so uh everybody else i pretty much watch shops or cletus or street speed stuff like that so anyway that's irrelevant but like i said um i gotta put a little gas in here i don't want to fill it up too much because i want to get a good mixture e85 as well um so we're just cruise real quick i won't even really film it because it's not that exciting it's only a five minute drive anyway and we'll get over there so i got a fun fact for you i took the intake tube off obviously what i got let me get it out of the box bear with me it's an air raid elbow right looks decent i mean it'll go here but now that i'm investigating honestly okay you see the exterior of this elbow now i will say it weighs like a thousand pounds so there is some weight reduction but the inside of it is smooth which i'm very surprised by and you can see how clean mine is because i got that good old catch can on there that's a little blow by but like i said i'm very surprised at how freaking like i thought the inside would be like this but i guess that's just for rigidity to keep it from sucking in from the vacuum but i just wanted to show you guys that this may not be necessary even though i'm probably going to use it just for the hell of it and it's a little bit better of a turn but what ifs it'll hold less heat too so it is what it is i just wanted to show you guys that because i found that interesting everything in there is pretty pretty clean well, let me keep tearing this apart i just wanted to share that with you all right everyone so we got the results and i know you're thinking what happened where's the dyno how do we know whatever the case may be i failed you guys in between putting the stuff on the car and when the car went on the dyno and brandon actually tuning the car and things like that i had some personal family matters that i had to go take care of i had to go to the hospital uh four family members stuff like that so i had to let brandon keep tuning it while i wasn't there one because i needed it to be done two there's no reason for me to hold up what he can get done while i go do something else of course you know being youtube and everything like that you want to record every single second of it but at the same time i had to be efficient i had to handle business kill two birds with one stone so yes i did fail you guys i didn't record any of the dyno videos uh, i was there for about two runs um well really one and then we had to do something before the second one so i could have at least recorded that but we were trying to get some things lined out so i wasn't really on the camera at the time but like i said the car is tuned it is uh it's pretty strong i got the dyno results over there on the floor so i'll show you that but i don't think i showed you guys everything installed so it's relatively clean i really 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 fucked up my valve covers uh kind of upset about that but i'll see what i can do about that but nonetheless uh that's kind of set up i kind of lost my track of my thought because i was looking at that really really depressing but anyways like i said i gotta really get under here and clean up there's some things that needs to be taken care of but uh like i said e85 sensor back here in the back chilling kind of need to get it tucked a little bit better flux fuel sensor back there we got our intake like i said i think the biggest benefit of this is going to be because it's no bigger than stock and then it still chokes down here but i think the biggest benefit is the thermo because i mean it's probably it's way cooler than that and this is just a plastic shield it's probably one of the coolest things in here 
I mean, just touching around. I'm not going to touch other stuff that's hot and be stupid. But like I said, the other intake, the old intake that I took off, it was when I was holding it, you could still feel the heat. And it was super thick, like super, super thick. Uh, like I said, it weighed like a thousand pounds. Not really, but that's how it felt. So I know there's a lot of, you know, improvements of just thermal energy that can be helped by that. k -Tech throttle body is on there. You, of course, there's no markings on it, but you can see how fresh that bad boy is. Literally the cleanest thing in here. So, like I said, the Air Raid elbow, k -Tech throttle body, uh, green filter, air filter on the inside, and then we got our Corsa cat back double x pipe exhaust system right down there so that's essentially what i have like i said the corsa is give or take honestly the mpp exhaust system is pretty strong it's a good system so not to tell you that if anything you got to have mpp if you're watching this video and your car has the stock single tip two tip system in the back and not the four tip like mine does you need to at least get the stock MPP. It's not that much. People are selling. I sold mine for a couple hundred bucks. My buddy Greg gave his away. Most shops have tons of them sitting. Well, performance shops have tons of them of them sitting there. You can get them a dime a dozen, uh, even on the forums. So you can get them. Just spend a couple bucks, you know, just a little bit. Nowhere near as much as what that Corsa costs. Uh, but like I said, it's a good system to have um but anyway like i said i failed you guys but i can show you the dyno gains so let me pick this up so before we were looking the highest run well let me take it back let me let me just do this we'll just compare them all if i can get this out all right so we'll com compare all runs I guess I'm done down here in the hood. I'm really kind of upset that I scratched some valve covers, but maybe I can get it fixed. All right. So originally, just, and okay. Well, let me just explain. Originally, we're at 417, 417 horsepower, 417 torque, pretty much mirrored each other. Then with the Corsa X-Pipe on, with everything, I went to 426, 437 i never dynoed it with just corsa axle back even because i had that never dynoed it like that so we went never got that number but we're here at 426 437 so now we look at our new dyno graph which happened today uh it doesn't have the date on here but obviously like i said i don't want you guys to think i'm bsing you but anyway we have 426 here that was our highest run but now we're at 445 445 horsepower 442 torque which i'm really happy about because as you can see in the last one the torque kind of ran away from the horsepower which that's what i liked in the first one even though of course it's less they're equal you know matching right there now we're almost back to where we used to be so 445 442 so we picked up 20, we'll say 20 horsepower, really 18 horsepower, because this is almost 427. 427, I wish I had one of those. Anyway, so, so we picked up 18 horsepower, but our torque, which already jumped pretty high. So honestly, our horsepower from stock was 417 to 445. So we picked up, let me do my math, 30 horsepower picked up 30 horsepower and i mean essentially 30 foot pounds of torque just by these mods but like i said this video was intended to be how to make horsepower cheap or not cheap but inexpensive because yeah because essentially k tech throttle body 300 bucks the elbow another 120 that filter uh what was it 35 bucks so we'll say that the elbow was with the air filter was 160 plus 300 makes it 560 and then like i said i know i have of course an back and the flex fuel sensor which is what 150 i think 120 something like that so we're at uh 
say 700 we'll round it up plus the cost of tuning to get a air you know a rotofab which is what i would get is five 500 bucks i believe i haven't looked in a while but i know they probably adjusted the price we'll say 500 bucks for just the rotofab and then you still got to spend money for the uh flex fuel sensor i'm losing my train of my thought um but so sure maybe i came out the same as far as price wise i had the sensor for a while the throttle body i feel like it's the best value because now i have two factory throttle bodies and then i also have uh, a throttle body that i can use on essentially any setup like that rotofab let's be honest if you want to go boost it in any other way you can use the box i think but you can't use the elbow so i have to buy another elbow anyway uh, with this, I can still use a factory box and just get rid of this elbow if I do, you know, centrif well, not centrifugal, uh, you know, screw blower or anything like that. So, like I said, I'm rambling on, but to me, this is a good way to piece something together instead. If you're someone who doesn't want to, I don't know, spend 500 bucks on one thing, like I said, the K-Tech is a really good value because you're getting factory throttle body for next to nothing uh because to get another one ported is 250 or your factory one ported is 250 and then you still have to send it off wait two weeks to get it ported you can't drive your car then get it back where the k-tech you spend another 50 bucks you get a whole nother throttle body and it just shows up at your house and you put it on so it's hard to beat that um so i'm pretty happy with it i'm sure you guys are tired of looking at me it's extremely dirty don't mind that uh it needs a really 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 good detail uh just it's hard nowadays i don't have the time as you can see i'm at my dealership uh, i'm not really gonna i mean i can do a plug come buy some freaking encores from me if you want to i can sell you one i got every color you can imagine out here but i can get you some yukons too don't don't doubt it but nonetheless like i said that doesn't matter uh don't really have time to go too crazy with the detail on this thing and it hurts me but it still looks good shout out to lindo's garage as you can see got it on the shirt but i'm happy with it i didn't expect the world with this setup because i had a buddy mr lee check him out on youtube mr lee basically did uh cold air intake headers he had an exhaust i believe and an intake manifold with stock throttle body and he only made like 470 i believe let me know if i'm wrong mr lee but like i said he had especially the headers but he had the headers and the manifold which are two big parts and he only made 30 more horsepower because those two pieces alone is what two grand worth of parts for 30 more horsepower like i said if you want to get in the game and you want to pretty much outrun anybody who's stock on the street because i mean this car outruns full bolt on uh s550s 50, all day sorry mustang boys but it's just the way it is so now i'm gonna run away from them uh so i appreciate you guys for watching this is awkward because there's a customer that's driving around the parking lot they're probably like what is this guy doing he doesn't even belong here <laughs> it's kind of weird when people watch you film but like I said, all I, the whole point of this video, I know you're probably tired of me talking, but this value is probably good for someone who wants to piece something together and still be relatively inexpensive. These cars are going to be expensive. It's just the way it is. The latest and greatest technology, all these companies are going to charge an arm and a leg for it. There's no way around it. I can do the same setup to my truck for half the price. It's just the way it is. Trucks, old stuff company's trying to get rid of those parts uh but it is what it is like i said it's just the nature of the beast but this is inexpensive that's why i'm gonna say it. it's not cheap it's probably not the best setup but i wanted to try something like i said from the beginning this was just me just trying something different i haven't seen anybody do this don't know if it's really worth it or not i did my test i'm happy with the results same dyno uh like i was saying earlier Last time I downloaded it, it was much cooler. I'm going to try to get this thing over to Attitude probably next week when it's cooler in the morning. First thing in the morning. Uh, and we'll try to re it again and hopefully I can get some better video. Uh, but like I said, 
hope you guys enjoyed this video i guess i rambled enough my mouth's dry i'm tired long day everybody give this video a thumbs up let me know what you think subscribe like i said a lot of stuff coming for the car i'm pretty excited i don't want to say it yet i gave plenty of hints i mean it's not out here but if you got the hint you know what i'm talking about so anyway everybody have a good day i don't know i don't even know peace